OBS Studio has some new features for the virtual camera that will allow you to use it more flexibly in applications like Zoom and Teams and Discord. The basic setup is the same as before. You click on Start Virtual Camera and then you select that in your other application. Let's move over to Zoom. Here in Zoom, I have already selected the OBS Virtual Camera as my camera. And you can see that the scene that I built in OBS Studio is coming through nicely with both my camera and my slide. But here are the two new things in OBS Studio version 28. For this first demonstration, I'm going to go into studio mode just by clicking studio mode here. And now I get two windows here in my OBS Studio application. This allows me to have one scene in the preview side on the left hand side and then another scene on the program side. And that's with the one on the right. So let's say that I go into my webcam only mode here in my preview and I'm keeping my 50 50 view here on the right hand side. In the default setup, what is being sent to Zoom is the program feed. That's the one on the right. So here we have the same view inside of Zoom. But I can also change it by going into the gear icon next to the virtual camera. I'm going to keep the output type as internal, but then I'm going to select the other option here, the preview output. And as soon as I click OK there, this is going to change in Zoom. Because now in Zoom, we have the preview outputting here instead. That's the one with the webcam only and without the slide. This just gives you a little bit more flexibility. You can use the preview for the Zoom audience only. And then you can send the program feed as in the past to your stream or to your recording. For the second new feature, first I'm going to leave studio mode by clicking the studio mode button over there. And then I'm going to go into the virtual camera settings. And instead of internal up here, I'm going to switch to scene. And now OBS Studio is actually going to ask me which specific scene do I want to send to Zoom. Let's pick this 5050, which is already selected, but you can see that I have all the other ones there as well. So we're going to stick with 5050. And now this is the only scene that is going to be sent to Zoom. Let me demonstrate. So here in OBS, I can switch to the webcam only view or I can go to this one where I'm just in the corner, but none of this impacts what is happening in Zoom. Let's switch over. Here inside of Zoom, we still see the 50-50 view. And even if I use my keyboard commands to switch into the webcam only view, for example, in OBS, this is the only scene that is coming through in Zoom. Let's switch back to OBS. And you can see that this is now in the webcam only mode. And I can, in fact, use the keyboard commands to switch between the scenes here in OBS Studio, which is really powerful. And I can go to this that has only the slide and then switch back. If you want to copy this layout, go to marcuspresents.com slash OBS. So the second new feature in OBS 28 when it comes to the virtual camera is that you can pick a specific scene. Let's continue the demonstration by clicking on the gear icon there as well. And I'm going to switch this to webcam only and then click OK. And then we're going to switch over to Zoom. And here you see in Zoom, we have the webcam only view. What do you think of these two new features for the virtual camera in OBS 28? Uh, put your comments below the video. I'd really be curious to see what are some use cases for these features. If you're using the OBS virtual camera, you probably also want to run audio through OBS. Click or tap the screen right here to watch my full video about how to set up audio perfectly in sync with your video with the OBS virtual camera and the virtual audio cable. Thank you very much for watching.